As Emma said, he hails from North Carolina, the Tar Heel State. Will he show Jason Shaw a clean pair of heels? Well, this is a good break-off. He's playing for the one ball in the side pocket. Villain makes it, but he's hooked. The next ball is the blue two after the break shot. The very next shot of the table, the player can play a push out, and that is where you can roll the cue ball anywhere. You can even hit another ball, you can pot a ball, but the biggest thing you've got to bear in mind, when Jason Shaw comes to the table, He's going to have the option to play this shot or pass it back to Earl. The first seeds of doubt in my mind about the the Europeans yesterday, Jason Shaw's first couple of shots in that team match, he was very hesitant, very tentative, and that's not like him at all. Jason played two-way bank shot there. He was kind of going for the bank, but he was always trying to here on the side of safety. What a story this is, 61 years of age. Can he get a point, a big point? This just shows you the love Earl has around the world to win his fans' choice vote. Speed looks good here, first trying to use that nine ball as a blocker. As long as he's cut off the potting angle, that's OK. Looks like Jason's had a little look, so maybe you can see this. So this is an early tester. Cue ball's on the rail. Full length. This is tricky. Oh, and it's a wobble. It's a wobble early doors. Well, even if he did pot the ball, look where the cue ball's finished. Shaw's feeling it. He looked a little edgy yesterday, not himself. I thought he was going to come out firing. Still early days in this match, of course. That call could be asking for trouble. Yeah, Jason didn't really have much choice there, just to play a little containing safety, and you now he's got the initiative. I wonder if Phil can just see that left edge, Phil, you know, the, the top side of the blue. If he can, he's going to have to roll it really slow. Yeah, that's what he's done. That's actually a really good shot. That's all he could do in that situation. Now you feel like the eight ball could play a big part in this shot as well for Mr. Shaw. Did the cue ball get there? He was trying to get the cue ball welded on the eight ball. It's clearly a gap. Can Earl put the two? No, he couldn't. What a safety shot he has played there, using the green six and the nine ball as a blocker. And the Strickland safety is paid, it seems, Rich dividends. Good speed there from early. He can just float this ball in now. He doesn't, doesn't have to get silly because the next ball after the red three is the pink four ball. So anywhere back where the cue ball is now.
nicely done. Hit that ball sweet, and this is, goes without saying, this is a rack that doesn't matter who you are, Phil, doesn't matter how old you are, these balls just simply have to disappear. That'll send a message to Shaw and Europe. Needs the angle here. This is all about the angle that he gets on the green six. Well, he's got an angle. A couple of options. He may play this ball in the corner and come high on the eight. Depending on the angle, he may come across the bottom, but you can see he's aiming low on the cue ball. Just wants a cue ball off the rail, that's okay. All of those matches through the decades, and he's feeling it himself, isn't he, Strickland? You can see it in his face. Yeah, I was with you, Phil, the puff of the cheeks. What a reception there for a Moscone Cup, a nine-ball legend. Earl Strickland, five-time US Open champion, three-time world nine-ball champion, and there, turning back the clock. Mind you, he's got a point to prove. Yesterday wasn't the best of times individually for him. He had his problems. In that doubles match alongside Oscar Dominguez, Strickland and Dominguez were beaten 5-1 by David Alcady and Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. But if he beats Jason Shaw in this match, all will be forgiven. I think it already has. Well, I'll tell you what, it's only the first rack and the, the noise in the crowd, Phil, it was absolutely electric when he played the nine. Can you imagine if he wins the point? What's going to happen? We'll be on our seats. Thank you. Thank you, That was a good hit from Jay. Good solid hit, the nine ball was going close as well. Often you see this, the one ball travels up to that top rail and one leaves the situation. There's no bank shot here, so he's gonna have to figure out a safety shot. I think from a European perspective, we just need the real Jason Short to turn up. He's been absent so far. This is not good as well from Jay. I don't think he's played a single good shot in the cup yet, Phil. Trying to use the six, the green six, and the, the eight ball as blockers. He's over it that by two feet. I've never seen him so prone to error. That was a little delicate one. It looks very easy, but he couldn't really play that shot with any conviction. Whenever you roll the ball, it's never a shot the professionals like. This is all about pace, this shot. He's going to spin the cue ball. And it can easily get lost on you. Got to watch this eight ball. Got to watch the eight ball. Has it just stopped in time? Now, from here, should clear, barring pressure, but of course the pressure is the overriding factor. Yeah. 
Well, the speed of the table has got Earl there. He's overrun this by a little bit. Can he, can he pop this ball in the top right corner and avoid the scratch? If he can't, he's going to have to start getting juicy with the cue ball. Big moments coming up. Well, he missed that ball, but the slide, the brand new ball. Somehow, it has fell in the pocket. Is this destiny, Phil? You could see the ball just turning over in a, in a few more days when the, the dirt starts getting on the balls. They won't skid in, they won't fall. He's looking good, Earl, isn't he? He's playing some good shots. He looks composed as well. Just what I was going to say, playing at a nice, measured pace. A good rhythm. And like Jason Shaw, who in this cup as a whole... Yeah! It's been all over the place. There. There's only one place for the nine ball. Into the side pocket. Earl Strickland doubles his advantage. 2-0 ahead. And Europe Oh, look at this, Earl of Pearls turned into a trick shot player. There was always that possibility, and the great showman delivered. When you think about his career, Carl, he won his first big event in the state of Nevada, up in Lake Tahoe in 1983 at Caesars. He won the World Championship here in Las Vegas in 1991. Successfully defended the title he'd won in Bergheim, Germany the year before. And he remains the only player in the game's history to win the World Nine Ball Championship in back-to-back -back years. So he's got quite a history in Vegas. But I think if he is part of a winning team here this week and he contributes, it might top the lot. Are you watching to see if they're keeping the cue ball in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah within the bound. Yeah, yeah. Right three, USA to break, 32 right center. Well, was just asking that. Brendan, a question there. He needs to settle down now because he's playing well. And, oh, look at this break. Has he got a shot on the two? He has got a shot on the two. The balls are that pretty. This is just dot to dot. Are you saying roadmap call? I am indeed. He's just got to settle down on this first shot. You've got to kind of kill the cue ball. And sometimes when you play that type of shot, you put a little bit of unwanted spin on the cue ball and can fire it into one of the jaws. Oh, it's in the heart of the pocket. Absolute heart of the pocket. If anything, Phil, if we're being a bit critical, you know, over the last sort of 10 years when I've watched Earl play, maybe this comes with age, fair enough, you seem to have a tendency to throw the odd missing from nowhere, don't you? So can he go on and um, keep this going? Or is one of them misses going to come? But the ball's going in the centre of the pocket so far. Just wants an angle on the brown seven. And he's got the angle. That'll make this shot a lot easier. But again, on these new tables, with the new balls, this type of shot can get away from you. Trying to come back into the centre of the table. And so often, the cue ball can come a little bit too far. Time out. If Phil can get anywhere around that situation, he'll be OK. You just don't want to be coming past that mark. Oh, this is good, Phil. This is on a dime. Earlier this year, Jason Shaw broke the world record for consecutive balls potted in straight balls. 669. He's potting nothing here. 
of the pocketing is being done by Earl Strickland. The legend leads 3-0. Team USA in seventh heaven. Look at this. The scenes here at Bally's are unbelievable. And this already is vindication for Earl Strickland's wildcard selection to Team USA this time. Per Jason Shaw, who trails 3 0. Good hit from Jay, but again, you can see the one ball, Phil. It's always going to track up there. You've got to try and get something going on. And just as Jason was breaking, the full arena was booing him, and this is what they've got to do. They've got to make him feel uneasy out there. Big rack, this one coming up. If Phil can win this rack, this will give him. Oh, this will relax him because he's on the hill. Push. Jason's got to try and keep Earl off the hill. That will give him a little bit of breathing space. Same again, Earl comes to the table from a push out. He can play this shot if he fancies something, or he can give this back to Jason. Hasn't missed a point yet. Doesn't look to be anything 
obvious on. Surprised to see he'll give this back. When you're 3-0, why should you force the mistake? And also, Shaw's safety, not just in this match, but in the, the team match yesterday, oh, yeah. was a little suspect, I thought. He has give it back. It's a smart decision. Just because, obviously, Jason has struggled with the speed, and unless he can create some sort of distance, this is all about speed. Yeah, that was the shot Earl would have spotted. He would have wanted to play that. But maybe he felt like Jason may leak an edge. Earl's not a fan of the jump cue. He has brought a jump cue into the arena. I'm not saying he's going to play the jump shot. Maybe he can't see an edge, but maybe he's looking at swerving the cue ball a little bit just to clip an edge. That, was, that would then send the one ball over towards the red three. Yeah, just looking at that, just swerving it a little bit to see that edge. Oh, you could see more. So that's what I was saying about the push out from the he knew the safety from Jason was all about speed control, so he identified the fact that Jason's struggling. He's put him back, but Earl's missed a little bit of a trick there. His name is Eagle Eye, Jason Shaw. The one thing you can always rely on with him, potting ability. He's a natural in that regard. He needs to clear here and to clear his mind. This looks good. He's fighting hard, Jason, isn't he? He knows this is a rep that needs. He's not had many opportunities. Earl, he's all been the Earl show at the minute. He's not hanging about, is he, Phil? Never underestimate Jason Shaw in the opening singles on day two last year. So the corresponding match, he beat Shane Van Boning 5-3. You can't get a tougher task than that in the Moscone Cup. OK, play for the side pocket. I mean, he's uh, tricky. One of the best potters on the tour, of course. But would you want to be playing it in the side? Jason finally shows he's a sure thing to clear up. That was the the usual Jason pool. Self-assured, full of self-belief, unlike in the, the first three racks and unlike yesterday when he seemed to me as though he was really suffering. I think the back ball on that side is off more. And also, you see the three ball is? Yeah, yeah. There's a gap between there's a gap between the, the, the two, the three, and the eight. That's why the wing ball is going straight in. If there's a gap between those three balls, it's going straight in. Yeah, I know that. But I'm spin Alex I, I spoke to Alex and we were he wanted me to go back in, but I'm gonna spin it more. I'm gonna spin it more, you know what I mean? Jason Shaw having a, a pep talk with his two Spanish teammates on the other side of the arena. It was a, a conflag between two players who have 10 US Open titles between them. Just the 10. Well, I hope Jason's Spanish is good because it's all going on. Earl to break. Leads 3-1. Looks dry. Oh, is the pink ball going to go? It has. It's just fell in. Last ball rolling. Yeah, what Jason was actually saying there for the for the viewers listening is certain gaps within the rack can determine where balls go. So maybe goes into the corner. So he feels like maybe he's spotting something off the break. Earl's 
ducking in behind the blue two and the purple five. Not his best effort. I mean, it's OK, but players are trying to get the cue ball welded onto the balls. That takes rails and swerve shots out the equation. Again, the tactical aspect of the game, although that wasn't easy, is letting Jason Shaw down time and time again. Not just today, yesterday also. Confirmation, three safety errors thus far. It was all about the two ball, wasn't it? It was never going to be easy for him. Never going to be easy to get on that blue two. But now I think he can just thin off the right hand side of it. Use the purple five as a blocker. And if he can get Jason full ball hooked behind that five, he'd be kicking. Shucks. Extension. Just to clarify, it's a 30-second shot clock and one 30-second extension allowed per player, per rack. Strickland has chosen to take his extension here. Needed extra thinking time. Didn't get the full ball hook. And that could prove to be massive because that has got Jason C and Edge. Because Earl didn't get the full ball hook, Jason could just separate the balls. Again, it was never going to be easy for Jay to get the snooker. Gets me when the crowd says boring when someone plays safe. What's boring is them saying it's boring. Cue ball over towards the purple five. It's a good shot. Earl, Earl thinks the two ball just pulled into the pocket a little bit. That can happen once you level the table. After a couple of days, it beds into the floor. How did the two ball not go in there? Where's the cue ball going to end up? Is Earl going to get a shot on the two? He is. He's got a shot. This is a chance. It was a fine effort from Jason. Here's another look. How did this ball not drop? What an opportunity here for the great man to move to the hill. This rack, he's all going to come down to this ball right here. If he passes the eight, he's fine. If he doesn't, He's got to go somewhere else. He has an angle, Phil. Does that six ball pass the black eight? If it does, this is relatively easy. I don't think the green six passes the eight ball because he's taking a bit of time. He doesn't. Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? He scratched! What a moment in this match. Groans from the American fans, the vastly outnumbered European supporters loving it. Silence descends. <laughs> Have we just seen the turning point we're looking for? Got to stay positive. He's got to keep up the same mojo he's been doing. This nine ball to pull it to just one behind. 
3-2 now. Strickland's lead is being eroded. It was the fans' choice this match. And I think they made a good choice, don't you? It is gripping. You know, Carl, when you scratch on a pot like this, it really hurts. Yeah, there you could see the six, the green six didn't pass the eight ball, so he had to get the cue ball over this side of the table, just didn't hit it quite as he wanted, it wasn't an easy shot, he just told SVB he dogged it, but you didn't really dog it, it wasn't easy. Well, I played good, when I lose, huh? Oh, yeah, I really did lose, though. Gotta keep fighting, okay? Pretty amazing, man. Gotta keep fighting. I should have zoned back a little on the three. Don't worry about it. You gotta, you gotta forget about that game. Okay? I'm going to back a little. Like a little. Yeah. One ball at a time. Okay? You're going to have your ten. Okay? This is just beautiful to listen to Earls. You can see he's desperate to start losing the plot as we've seen so many years, but Shane's keeping him level-headed. You're three to up, you're still, you're still in a good match. You'd have took three two, wouldn't you, if walking down them stairs? Of course you would, Earl. Shaw breaking to try to level. The pendulum is busy, it's just swung violently back towards the USA. Had the white made any kind of contact with that black eight ball, he would not have scratched, but he just avoided it. He's down quick, he's early, isn't he? The balls are there, but there's a key ball on this table that might prove again to be the problem ball for Earl and USA. the brown seven and the nine ball it all depends on if that brown seven ball goes into the right center pocket as he hooked himself behind the eight i think he can just pop this ball does the brown seven fill pot in that side the right hand side pocket took his medicine but these are four inch pockets now what a shot you can see he's feeling it Phil apply check side to hold that cue ball but as you say Carl this is missable even by someone of his stature and it's where he gets on the nine ball as well he's overcut the eight ball this is turning into a big big point now it really is the only consolation for Strickland, at least he missed it on the right side in terms of getting safe. Well, that was better tactically, defensively from Shaw. Earl's got to come off this rail in behind it. And kick it, but he's actually gone for the jump cue. Well, the pearl with the short stick. Well, that's not too bad, is it? It could have been a lot worse. If it goes over a pocket, he's lost the rack. He's got to be delighted with that, hasn't he? Jason play the bank shot. That's what he's gone for. That's what he's gone for. Has it held up? 
How big is this eight ball now in this rack? It's either going to be 3-3 three, three or Earl's going to be on the hill. This is a nasty shot. I'll tell you what, if Strickland pots it eventually, it will be Europe will be behind the eight ball. That was asking an awful lot, Carl, wasn't it? Asking an awful lot. Yeah, it was. You, you can't blame him for going for it. But from nowhere, back against the wall, Jason Shaw's dug in, he's done well. And it's this nine ball to tie this match up. Well done, Jason Shaw. At his lowest end, he was 3-0 down. Now, though, Earl Strickland has been pegged back. It is level pegging. 3-3, three, three, all to play for. More pool after the break. Even when you've risen to the pinnacle of your sport, winning is never easy in the Moscone Cup, as Earl Strickland is being reminded of right now. Twice he missed the eight ball. This was the most difficult of the two. And even for someone like him, as I said at the time, that really was asking an awful lot. It left Jason Shaw the easiest task to tie things up. So it started out as a race to five sprint. 
now it's a super sprint, a race to two from here. 3-3, Earl Strickland's a break. Still all to play for. He's hitting the break good though, isn't he? He's getting that cue ball back and forth into the stack. Yeah, it's worth recalling that he won the lag, and so consequently, if it does go hill hill, he will break in the all-important ninth. No shot on the blue two. That's the lowest ball on the table. Never comes easy when you've had chances and you've made a couple of mistakes. You're just desperate for an easy, easy table. One point worth making here. We've now played 38 racks in this Moscone Cup. 19 for Europe. 19 for the USA. Ultra competitive, as it always is. Yeah, whenever you're playing a safety shot, you're always looking at the object ball. So in this case, it is the blue two. Jay's trying to get that safe. He's got to make sure he tries and gets that safe. He's running the cue ball up towards the eight and the purple. What a beautiful shot this is. It really is. That was more like it from Jason Shaw. Speed was on point there. Earl's in a world of trouble here. Very low extension. This is very low percentage for Earl. I'm just wondering, could he do something with the purple five, like a DF? Oh, that was a nice shot. It might be in a world of trouble next shot, but all you can do is hit the ball and don't give ball in hand. And that's what Earl did. As you can see, the, the purple five ball easily goes past the black eight, and so whoever makes the first mistake here could leave a real run-out opportunity. The scratch has come, so the couple of safeties from Jay has given ball in hand. What a turnaround. What a huge point this could prove to be. for the pink four because it only goes in the left but that is not a good shot it has to be said he's way way out of line he might to be two foot further down the table i'm not so sure if he can pot this and avoid the cue ball cannoning the six ball well he couldn't he's had to play safe he's played a good safety by the way but that has just let Earl get another shot. You never know when your opponent is kicking at a ball. Crazy things can happen. Jason was trying to clear the table there, Phil. And with ball in hand, he picked his own angle and still didn't get anywhere near where he wanted to be. Sure susceptible to me. There's no doubt about it. But he played a good save to Jay. You know, he run out of line, fair enough, on the positional shot. But he I'm held sorry. himself together. And he played a good save to Earl's apologising, but... You know, he's still in this match. He's not over yet, by any stretch. Jason's just making sure he gets the cue ball on the right line this time. Recently won the International Open for the second time in Virginia to Jason Short. In a situation like this, in an individual tournament, you put your house on him to, to clear up. Oh. 
walking. Any angle on the the eight ball now for Jay will pretty much wrap this rack up because he can come back over to the right hand side of the table for a simple nine. And he will be breaking in the next rack. And I think the full match full where Jason's just not really had a shot on the lowest ball after the break. When your opponent's made a few mistakes and you've come back so many times, you get an easy, an easy layout on your last break. Jason Shaw knocks in the nine down the rail. Here come the troops. European captain Alex Layley and his support crew. He was 3 0 down, Jason Shaw. He's not playing his best. He doesn't look. Entirely confident to me. No point but going for the combo. He's been allowed back into this, and now he leads 4 3. The problem was I wanted to play the combo, but. You're still in it. It's man. not over until it's over. You need 18 more balls to win the match, okay? 18 more. It's not over until it's over. It's not I broke good in the I know. Time. I know, you, you broke the first one. I thought you were going to get a shot on the two if you get the two right there behind the one. I thought you were going to get a shot. Not over until it's over. One shot. Jay One shot. Jason's breaking back, so you're going to get a shot, okay? So just be ready, okay? Just a couple of shots. How to have this match. That's beautiful to see, isn't it? You know, a legend, someone who Shane's obviously looked up to when he was a, a kid. Who'd have thought he'd be giving her the pearl advice? But he's right what he's saying, Phil. It's not over. It's 4 3. This is not over. He was also right to say that Shaw's break off has not been the most effective we've seen from him so that gives Strickland a, a glimmer of hope as well now then what is going to happen on this break off from Jason Shaw is he going to get a shot on the lowest ball is it try is the one ball going to fall in is the one ball going to fall Ball's got a shot, but this, let me tell you, this is so hard to get on the blue two. Shane was right. This is horrible, Phil, though. The cue ball is on the rail, and the one is right over the pocket. Just look where the blue two is. How do you get somewhere on the left? There's, there's too many balls in the way. That's the problem. Just so hard, wasn't it, to get the cue ball down this right hand side of the table? Every bad roll you could get, I got it. Kicking at this ball, Phil, if you can get the two ball moving up, you can see the red through, you can see the edge of the two. That was his speed, oh, his speed is just, just delightful in that shot. Shane was right there, going back to just before this rack started, he's trying to just keep him, keep him positive, play the game. Jason's kicking two rails. Good kick shot as well, he's kept that distance. But Earl's still got the upper hand in this rack because he's the one who can see the two ball, he's the one who can make something happen. Match one, day two, and already this is an immense moment, an immense contest. Extension. Extension called. Bill knows the importance of this shot. There's a couple of options. Do you start banking the two ball back up table somewhere? Or do you chip off it? The chip off looks good. Get the blue two near the eight ball. That's what he's done. Cue ball's a hair short of pace. If the cue ball finds the top rail, Jason would have been hooked. Jason's getting down pretty quick, so he's spotted something. It's 
a little pace to this. But the cue ball is on the back rail, Phil. How do you pop this and get on the two? Again, this is just nasty. It looks very easy. You think, oh, it's over the pocket. Just pot it and run out. But this is this is nasty. He may even duck. He did play the duck. He did play the duck. Now can Jason Shaw conjure up some magic and break his duck in terms of gaining a point? Good shot there, Jay. You can see he was using the red three, the brown seven, the purple five and the pink four as blockers. I've never seen him look so intense, so serious. Sure. Oh, and now he's walked the chance he craved. Is this going to be a wholesale turnaround in favour of the visitors? Through the match. Wow. This is the chance Jason wanted. He lost the opening three racks in this point, the first point of day two as well. Treat these side pockets with respect. He's had a lot of stick off the crowd in this match as Jay he lost the opening three. I think if he goes on to knock these balls in, you're going to see some emotion. You really are. Now, that was a, a telltale sign that the nerves are in the back arm. Didn't quite catch the cue ball there as he wanted to. No, he's got to play this into a stingy pocket. Such a good potter, though. Straight in the middle. This one looks over and done. What a comeback. What a performance. I'm glad you're taking something for granted, Carl. I'm certainly not. Not the way things have gone in this Moscone Cup so far. It's all about an angle on the eight. Oh, oh! Steady on. <laughs> you want to get the cue ball out into the table. Watch the emotion here. He is going to go off on one. He's doing the Earl Strickland celebration. It's the Shaw Strut.